Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about spear length versus barrel length. We tend to use a spear that's 400 millimeters longer than that of a barrel. In this case, the barrel is one meter. We're going to show a 1.4 meter spear. We always work out our barrel length to be the actual tube itself. So it's not from the back of the mechanism. This is a one meter barrel, one meter gun. It starts at about here, just ahead of the mechanism and ends there. So if we put a 1.4 meter spear inside, by the time it's engaged, there's a portion of the spear that's consumed over the barrel this side and a portion that's been supported by the muzzle. So what sticks out here is actually only 270 millimeters, not 400. This is what we set up as our norm. All of our guns, whether it's the aluminum rail, carbon rail, timberline rail, that is our basic ratio. So if this is a very short 50 centimeter gun, only this portion will stick out. There are guys though that have problems with that and rather use a shorter spear. Technically, it's actually the better option because you're gonna have a longer stroke with your rubber driving that mass. Some people battle though with it to aim. You can see there, 10 centimeters shorter, works fine. If you shortened it more, the problem would be the barb. Imagine an even shorter spear. Now the barb starts to fell. This might affect the flight of the spear. So better to go 300 difference if you do want to try a shorter spear, not the 400 difference. Some people battle to aim with a spear that only sticks out a short amount. So they use the next size up. In this case, this is a 1.5. So it's 500 longer. But again, it's not 500 sticking out. There's this longer portion. Quite a few people actually use this more so than the shorter one. But about 95% go with the stock standard. 1 to 1.4. In this case, if it works for you, go for it. The problem with this is you have a lot more mass now that the rubber is trying to drive. Proportionately more mass. The other is that this part sticking out here can have an ever so slight sag. This will cause your shot to be a little low. You can compensate for that by tweaking the trailing edge of the barb just a little bit to give it a little bit of lift. So that can work. Don't confuse aluminum guns with wooden guns in terms of how they measure. Uh, I got no problem with the way they measure wooden guns, but a lot of wooden guns are measured from the back of the stock to the front of the muzzle. So you may have a longer measurement, but the gun itself could be similar to a slightly shorter aluminum gun. I hope that answers your questions about spear length. Stand by for the next. Although this is a 1.4 spear, 1.4 meters, it doesn't go all the way to the back. So the total length of that gun is probably closer to 1.5 meters because of the extra piece from the handle and the shape of the handle. So don't think that a one meter gun will fit into a one meter bag. You always got to consider the shaft. If you do want the shaft to be shorter, you can pull it back. So you can use a shorter bag that's exactly 1.4. But if you stick something on the end of the shaft to stop the tip from damaging your bag, you're going to need another centimeter too. So if you want to have a custom bag made, you can shorten it for travel purposes to the length of the shaft plus whatever you're going to fit to the end of the spear.